Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Adam. I'm here to read a story with you. Um, yeah, so let's jump right in. I wanted to share a book called Big Smelly Bear, and it's by Britta Teckentrup. Um, and this is a really good book about um, friendship, what it means to be a friend. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of a fun, silly story. So I wanted to share this with you. This is Big Smelly Bear. I like this watch when you open it up. He's right there again. Wow, oh, take a look at Big Smelly Bear. You can see his footsteps, and you can look at him, and you can see. Oh, man, looks like there's some leaves on him. Well, what are these animals doing? Huh. Interesting. Big Smelly Bear never washed. Big Smelly Bear never brushed. Big Smelly Bear never took a bath. Big Smelly Bear was followed by a big smelly stink wherever he went. Flies buzzed all around him, but they were the only ones that ever came close. You can see these animals look like they're running away from him. When the animals in the forest got a whiff of big smelly bear, they ran away as quickly as they could. None of this seemed to bother big smelly bear, but sometimes he did think it would be nice to have a friend. Then one morning, everything changed. Big smelly bear woke up with the most terrible itch. He had tried to scratch his back with his paw, but he couldn't reach. He tried rolling on the ground in the dirt, but that didn't stop the itching either. Big smelly bear was itchier and dustier than ever. What do you think he needs to do to solve this problem? He tried scratching his back with a tree branch, but that made the itch even itchier. He tried rubbing his back against the trunk of an old tree, but that didn't help at all. I would scratch your back for you, said a voice from above, but you are much too smelly. Big Smelly Bear looked up and saw a big fluffy bear sitting in some branches. Big Fluffy Bear smiled at Big Smelly Bear. Hmm, I wonder if Big Fluffy Bear is going to be a good friend to Big Smelly Bear. Let's find out. Why don't you take a bath? Asked Big Fluffy Bear. Then you wouldn't itch or smell. Because I don't need a bath, replied Big Smelly Bear. What do you think? Does he really not need a bath? Yes, you do, said Big Fluffy Bear. No, I don't, said Big Smelly Bear. Yes, you do, growled Big Fluffy Bear. No, I do not, growled Big Smelly Bear. Yes, you do, cried Big Fluffy Bear. No, I do not, shouted Big Smelly Bear. Well, yes, you do, shouted Big Fluffy Bear, because you stink. Both Big Bears sat quietly for a minute. Then Big Smelly Bear sighed a big sigh. Oh, all right, he said, and he stomped off grumpily down the hill to the pond. When Big Smelly Bear got out of the pond, he shook the water off his big body. Big Fluffy Bear jumped down from the tree and sniffed. There, she said, that's much better. Now you smell all clean. And she scratched his back for him. Oh, that's nice. The itch was gone. Big Smelly Bear sighed. Oh, thank you, he said. Then he gave Big Fluffy Bear's back a little scratch, too. I'm not going to take any more baths said Big Smelly Bear. Big Fluffy Bear smiled, and the two bears had a little bear hug.
big smelly bear liked big fluffy bear very much even though he said he would never bathe again sometimes late at night he would wander down to the big pond and can you guess what he was doing yeah you can see it right there and here they are they're still friends